Hello guys and girls, this is Josh Fulci Fan 101 speaking. I have been to our Perth Comic Con on last Saturday, Sunday, I should say. And I got a few autographs that I'm willing to, that I want to share with you. Yet again, I have, I've met John, John Jarrett from Wolf Creek um, a few times now. But this is the uh, one of the top release Blu-ray uh, sets available now. So I just had to get another one autographed. It's the uh, special edition. Uh, that one I'm blocking from you because it's for a friend. It's uh, custom made to him from John. John Jarrett. Um, so um, you know what you're going to get when you're watching this. I won't tell anyone your name. But you're gonna love it he made a personally personal customized um sentence to you and i told him you're a pommy that you're british so um a warning he's gonna take the absolute piss out of you as mick taylor from john uh wolf creek does not like pommies <laughs> anyway i'll show you what i um got with this i got a photo for this holding it up for authenticity for my friend but I'll show you what I got uh, with authenticity with this one holding up. Hang on a sec. Yes, here is me. Here is me with John Jarrett, and he was he was fantastic, kindest guy in the world. He had a sense of humour about him that you um you just fall in love with uh, straight away. As you see, I have a policy of authenticity with my items, holding up the um the autograph item next to or. If you can, um, I if I can, I can get them to hold it up. But it's authenticity, otherwise, um, anyway. So that's what I recommend you all, you autograph um, acquirers, to um, get proof of authenticity, just to hold it up in a photo next to um, who you're getting an autograph by. Okay, next, Robert Patrick from Terminator Two and The Sopranos okay oh yes this is what i was waiting for my 4k ultra hd set of um of terminator 2 autographed by the uh t1000 uh robert uh patrick himself uh nice guy i wished him i hadn't had a lot of time they were rushing us along so i did not have a lot of time to really engage into a conversation with him but all I said at the end was, please enjoy us, enjoy Australia and enjoy Perth. And um, he was, he was, he said, yes, it is a beautiful place. So at least I was able to throw in one comment. This is great. Um, I'm not, never going to open this. It's still sealed up, but I ripped it all, all the plastic out just for him to make the uh, autograph on the um, actual uh, set. So this is uh, actually brand new and uh, people have been com complaining about the 4K treatment this has got, uh, T2 has got so far, but hey, I'm happy to have it autographed, proud to have it autographed. And I'll show you my, um, my authenticity of me holding up with Mr. Patrick in, well, about now. Here we are. Um, that's me and Robert Patrick. Um, great guy. Um, I never listen. I had hardly any time to talk to him, but you could just tell he is a great guy, even by just looking at the guy. Um, now, there was a problem initially um, with when they took the photo and they developed it that I couldn't see the the photo the um the autograph on the thing did not make out on the photo if you can see any of it there um it it turned out okay because it didn't make it out on the photograph but all you need is to put a torch against it and you can make it out so basically it's um a solid um uh proof of authenticity that the item was autographed and I might try, I might uh, include in a second uh, my John Jarrett or, uh, photo for my friend. Me holding the item up for my friend who I'm sending it to. Hold on a second. 
Yes, my dear John, uh, this is me and him, and you'll be getting this when I sending when I send it to you. It cost me forty bucks to have a um have a studio portrait um photo, but it was all worth it just to get you something, matey. You've been a great physical media collector. A anyway, you you are in the UK. This guy who I'm sending it to is in the UK. Um, and there is me, Mr. Girat, with me holding it. So. Um, proof of authenticity 101, um, John Melichick, and, uh, you're going to get it. Happy to do it for you, matey, and maybe I could get some autographs, um, uh, done for other YouTubers down on, down the road. Okay, lucky last, what I scored on merchandise. Uh, not much because I spent all my $350 on autographs and photos. <laughs> Anyway, I'll follow, I'll follow now. We have the Sopranos. Um, they, they said to take 10 for a hundred dollars, Funko Pops, but I only took uh, seven and they charged me $70. So anyway, um, yeah, I saw all these in the Funko store of Comic-Con. I saw all these Sopranos and Jesus, I had to get them and I, I'm looking up now and there's not too much more so I'm seriously looking at collecting the rest of the Funko Pops of the Sopranos so um that should be cool um I don't think there, like I said I don't think there are many more but um I, I am definitely looking forward to it so Comic-Con's Comic-Con's been great um and I hope someone come someone uh really cool comes by next year so i can you know meet them and get more autographed um merchandise uh this is josh Bulchy fan signing off um i hope you enjoyed my vid and uh yeah stay cool bye bye